pops on. I'll say good morning again because um, sometimes I have those adverts and yet look I still have not tidied those ribbons up or, the, or those cards so I need to do that. Uh, I need to have a tidy up actually in general today so that's what I'm going to do um, partly today. I was in here early today, um, well I'm saying early, it's not early early but I not, normally don't get here till about 10 because I wait until all the school traffic's gone but today I set off before 9 and I was here for 10 past 9 and it wasn't too bad so I've been in bright and breezy packing a few more kits and I'm ready to do some crafting. Oh my God, I can't believe we're finally making these cards and we should have finished by now. Um, but never mind, that's what we're here to do. So I just need to skip ads on my laptop and I'm gonna turn this round and pop my phone in here. Okay. And there we go. Let me see how it's looking. Move my stuff over a bit. Oh, la, la. Right. There we go. Okie doke. So, let's see who's on. Um, oh, hi, Geraldine. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Elaine. Um, you don't really need extra stuff. Um, I did say in the when I did the class details, which I appreciate was a long time ago, it was a night of navy ink pad. Other than that, it's basic craft kit. Um, hi, I've said hi, Geraldine. Uh, hi, Maria. Hi, Kay. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Lorraine. Oh, Elaine. Um, you're very chatty this morning. Hi, Marjorie. Welcome. How was Whitby today? Hi, Ali. Um, if you could do a thumbs up, I would love it. So, um, if you've purchased the kit. In your kit, you've got the stamp set. Some of you got the dies as well, opted for the dies. Um, there was no ink pad included this time because most people had Night of Navy. And then you've got um, some of the papers. Now, these are mine that I've already cut into. Um, and then you've got your card kit. So, I'm just going to get some scraps out. Um... And let me just decide which ones I'm going to use. Okay, and then I'll show you the card. It's really easy card to get us um, started. Oh man, I put my scissors somewhere. I know, I can see. I thought I'd got everything out. Whitby's cloudy. Oh, it's not, yeah, it's a bit cloudy today. Right, we are going to make a nice easy card today. Um with the, oh actually I need another paper and then I'll go through which papers I'm going to use. These are the well suited papers and this was February's parcel in the post so um, you might have even got extras. Um, okay so I'm going to use this paper which has got this on the back. Um, fun fact about this, um, I think, I don't know if it was four, but four or five, of, maybe four or five of the designs in this um, set of papers were based on a guy who works at Stamping Up. They were actually based on his shirts and ties. And Sarah Douglas, our CEO, shared, um, shared a picture of, of it. It was really funny, actually. So in your card kit, you've just got a Misty Moonlight card base and a Poppy Parade layer. Um, and then we are going to cut, I'm going to cut this white grid paper for the background. Um, oh, my trimmer's over there. And we are going to cut it at 9.5 by 13.8. Ooh, it does feel good to be crafting along with you and it did feel good last night not to have to come up with um, a design because I already knew what I was going to be doing <laughs> okay so that 
as I said, it's really easy card today. That's just going to sit on there like that, all right? And you can glue that on. Um, we can do that at the end because we'll do our bow ties. Now, for this one, I'm actually going to do a happy birthday. Um, and I might have a suggestion. Well, I, ha I have actually done it. I'd forgotten that I've done it. But I've actually um, butchered my stamps. The red line went it. Oh, if you're not crafting, it's just half a centimetre wider than the 9.5. So it's 10 by 14.3. So I always go down in 0.5s or 1s, usually 0.5s. So it's 10 by 14.3. So just add 0.5 onto that measurement that I just shared. Um, I've butchered this stamp set and I have cut off the handsome word there. Because... I just thought I'm going to use Have a Happy Father's Day more than I'm going to use Have a Happy Father's Day Handsome. And if I want to have Handsome, I can always add it on separately. And if I want to say, if it was like want to send Craig a card for his birthday, I could say a happy birthday to you, Handsome. Um, so anyway, so what I've done is, look, I've, I've cut it off and you can do it quite safely. Um, so I've cut that off, but I'm going to do a... a a birthday one today so I'm going to grab a block oh all my blocks are huge do look this ha happy birthday to you is a really nice um, stamp it's great to fit in punched out shapes and stuff it's a good size um, now I don't know if my new customer Janet is watching, but Janet, big shout out to you. And Janet just ordered some ink pads. I'm just gonna give my ink pad a little clean, actually. Janet just ordered some ink pads. So what I wanted to do, um, if, if you're watching this, or you might be watching on catch up, is show you um, about our ink pads now. Um, we have some stickers on the back, okay? And you can peel these stickers and you can peel off the label that says Knight of, this one says Knight of Navy, obviously. Yours that won't be this colour, Janet, because you've got a different colour family. But the stickers peel off and they stick here on the front. So when you've got your ink pads like stacked up in a pile, you can see which colour. Um, belongs to it you know which is which now also there's a blank um sticker here at the bottom there's a blank one yeah and what you can do i do it sometimes is you could stick that blank ink pad here so if you've got a few open and you can't tell exactly what color they are you can see from here what color they are now opening the ink pads it's probably easier, rather than opening it, it like that way with it facing the right way up, it's probably easier to turn it round and bring it towards you, bring this towards you, yeah? And then you can slide that in. I always don't really click them in fully because they do get a bit stiff and then you can pull this towards you and then pop it over to close. So um, turn it upside down, bring it towards you and push, okay? That's probably the easiest way. Right, so um, that being said, I'm now going to open mine and do a little bit of stamping. And I'm also going to use this bow tie. So I hope that helped and it might have helped anybody with who didn't know about the stickers on the ink pads, maybe. I'm going to use the bigger bow tie okay and I've got some scraps and this is great for using up these scraps now yours won't be scraps because you've just got the kit so when I when you do this I would stamp it in the corner of your paper because we will be using the papers again we are going to be using this one um, again for another card um, so and we are going to be using this one, so please keep this piece 
you know that we cut off, please keep that piece because we're going to use it for card number five. All right, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp and pull and we're going to stamp onto our patterned paper like that. So I'm going to stamp on the grey one. I'm going to stamp on the red one. And I'm going to stamp on this checked one. I'll probably do it here to make the most of that. Okay. Now, some of you don't have dies. There is a die to cut that out, but I'm going to do it with scissors because some of you don't have the dies. So they're quite a nice, easy shape to cut out. Have you learned something, Wendy? What about the stickers? Oh, that's good. I thought I'd do a stamping pad 101 because, um, as I say, I've got a new lady who's just purchased some ink pads. And I like to help people out. And it's often easier to see it on a video. So when I'm cutting this out, I am leaving a little um, layer. I'm not cutting on the line. This is a classic pattern for a, for a tie, isn't it? It's a classic tie pattern that it, it actually reminds me a bit of Del Boy. I bet Del Boy. Hi Serena. I bet Del Boy had a tie like this. With his tie pin in. <laughs> okay, so they are quite quite easy to no stress cutting them out. on Facebook at half one this afternoon all opening upside down yeah I've just started trying to do it that way I think it's a bit easier there we go Three little, <laughs> I nearly said three little dicky birds, three little dicky bows. Okay, so what you can do is I want to have three sort of here. I want to put my two most colourful ones on the outside and the plain one in the middle. Um, this, the thing is with this grid, it's quite good because you can use the squares to work out if you've got it right I would probably position those there and then think right I'm going to do my stamping now and it's quite important that you get this straight because because the grids the grids um obviously straight oh now I've got it really good and straight on there so Well, I'm glad I've educated people this morning. So that's, I'm just eyeballing that there. Oh, it's slightly going down, but downwards, but never mind. It's handmade, it's handmade. I sort of click back in then, okay. I'm now going to, I'm going to put my, I'm just going to check my fingers because you know what I'm like. I always um, end up getting a mess on my project. Oh. Just, my phone looked a bit wonky. Just going to move it a bit. Sorry, I'm probably making you seasick there. Right, I'm going to glue this on. 
Night of Navy Mess, absolutely. Oh, you see, this is a really easy card because it's only quarter to 11. Please do a thumbs up if you can, or if you want to. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop that in there. And then I'm gonna stick that on my card base. I will put a list of the products that we've used on the description of this video with links to my store in case anybody likes the stuff but you haven't got them yet um, and I can show you where they are in the catalogue. And I'm going to pop these on with a dimensional foam pad. Now you could you could curl these a bit, you know, to make them a little bit stand out a little bit. Just look in. great thing about this bow tie, look, it's the widest part of it is absolutely almost identically in width to the word birthday, so it's really good to sort of eyeball um, it to see if you've got it central. Oh, you're all really quiet this morning. Mind you, I've got less people on today. Okie doke, there we go. There we go, there we go. Um, easy, easy peasy card done. And um, ready to, oh no. Oh, that's a shame for you, Anna. Easy peasy card done and ready to go in the card box, ready for um, a nail family member's birthday. Um, let me show, let me get the catalog. So it's right near the back and it's on page 66. Okay, so I sort of got inspiration from this card here um, for, for today's card. Um, and I will be using these products this afternoon. I don't know what I'm making on Facebook, so do come and see me do that. Um, and let me show you next week's card because I used to remember, I used to do that, didn't I? So I'm going to pop that back in. Now, for those of you who signed up to um, the next round of Coffee and Card Round 10, I apologise to the ladies who I posted the stuff out to and who collected. I think it affected Sally and Margaret who collected. I forgot I was so rushing to get the packs out that I forgot to put your envelopes in for round 10 for the floral and the next one so I'm afraid I owe you some envelopes when you sign up for your next class with me so please do um please do let me know um And also, for those of you who um, sign up, I'm trying to be, um, I'm trying to use less these now, the cello bags, and I'm trying to find a, a different way of working um, because they're not particularly brilliant for the environment. I know they're really lovely to keep your card in after and things like that, um, but from round 10 onwards, I'm actually sending the kits out in um, some paper bags 
um, you know, I mean, once it's open and ripped open, you could still probably put your card in after. Um, but obviously, they're a little bit, a bit more environmentally friendly because um, you, can, you can recycle these bags. Um, so they are they are Fiona, but I've priced them up, and it, I'd have to put the. Um, I do have eco friendly ones for other stuff, but I'd have to put my prices up. So I'm using these paper bags. As well um now and I, and I do think the the, dot, the they look quite cute too um so and, and you can't have a sneak actually well some so on some of the cards the colors shine through so you can have a little sneaky um so yeah so that was this week's card and next week this is our pack for next week um this is my favorite one probably and I think I've shared this one before with you and we're going to do this one with the ties. Now, um, if you want to, if you have um, a heat tool and if you have Versamark um, and some white embossing powder, then this tie is actually embossed. Um, I've also used a grey ink pad, but we, we can do them all with the navy. Um, so if you've got those, you know, heat tool, white embossing powder and Versamark, please bring it along and we'll, you can do, I uh, just think it looks nice to have one with the um, bits on the tie that it makes it really pop and stand out. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, you can still make a card and we'll still make it look nice. Um, but yeah, so that's next week's card. And what time is it? It's only 10.52. So that was quick, wasn't it? So have I got anything else to tell you? I've got my Monochrome Madness class on Saturday afternoon at two o'clock on YouTube on here. Um, that will be pre-recorded, but I'll be on live chatting. And I'm on Facebook this afternoon. And we're on Paper Crafts and Piano on Thursday night again. And I'll be back next Tuesday. And then next Saturday, I've got my Perennials class. Um, also, booking still open for my spring retreat day. Thank you to those of you who booked. We're using these gorgeous papers. Um, thank you to those of you who have booked. Well, really, Geraldine, um, for a lot of it, I'm just going to be using a black ink pad. You can, um, you can, you know, use other colours for the stamps to colour them in, um, but. On the day, I'm probably just going to be using a black ink pad. And you will get the stamp set dies, papers and bits and bobs included. A little treat. Um, so, yeah, Ali, I sent yours out yesterday and I have an apology to make to those. I was so rushing again. I've forgotten to put you a large stitched rectangle in. So I might need you to cut a piece of white card down to use instead. So it affects four people who are posted out to. Um, which I will I will message people. Um, but the people who are collecting aren't affected because I've not dished those out yet. But yeah, so that was posted second class yesterday, Ali, to you. No, no, there's no ink pads included, Geraldine, in the day. There's no ink pads included. So don't worry about that. Um, so yeah pop the card back so thank you for joining me this morning and um, please do if you've made this card please do share it on the facebook group and um i'd love to see very simple card less is more especially when it comes to guy cards i think sometimes um and you can book on my event site i'll just pop the link on for anybody else who's looking that's the link to book events.paperhaven.co.uk um so yeah thank you for joining me this morning and i will see you maybe on facebook this afternoon at 1 30. thank you and see you then bye